Welcome back to Let's Play Liberia 3. Path to Liberty. And Path to Liberty indeed, because the last time we played, due to the new patch, the United States has gone frenzy and decided to puppet Liberia. So now we definitely have a boot to shake off our neck. Additionally, the United States has decided to declare war on Mexico. And this war has been named the American-Mexican War of Liberian Existence because initially the UK was in the war and they wanted to grab the most populous province that we have in the country. Luckily, crisis was averted, the UK dropped out of the war and so it was not as big of a tragedy as it could have been. At the moment, we are paying quite a lot to the American coffers thanks to the puppet status that we currently have and that's something that we'll try to change in the future. Additionally, we're researching lots of technologies related to production as we're trying to become more and more productive. We're focusing on manufacturing motor uh, engines, as you can see. But apparently, for some reason, chairs are just much more profitable than engines. Oh, we are doing quite well in terms of GDP, but uh, the standard of living has dropped a little bit due to a revolution that dropped the country. Additionally, we're also sort of quite tolerant outside of a few Italians who came here for some reason. We, um, it's, I don't know why they're here. I, I, I really don't know. I don't understand how they ended, ended up here. Perhaps they were living in the US and then they migrated from the US to Liberia because we're a puppet state. I do not know. However, that does mean that very unfortunately this racial segregation law will make North Italians into a discriminated minority. Does that make sense in the real world? I don't think so. But also a fun historical fact. There's an unfortunate detail in the Liberian constitution in the real world, which says that only um, a person of African descent can be a Liberian citizen, which does mean that Europeans would not be able to become citizens, which, well, is reflected here. But obviously, we'll be trying to move away from that if we do get a lot of non-African descent immigrants in the future. In the moment, that's not a big deal for us. Um, we're just trying to stabilize our balance sheet so that we have much more res in reserves. Right now, we're really, really riding our taxpayers hard because we're trying to expand a little bit while not completely going bankrupt. And it's not going as well as we would want it to go. Either way, let's start the game and see what's gonna happen now. Uh, Niger interest activated. Yes, we can now participate in diplomatic place in the right Niger region, which is roughly here. Yes, here we go. Uh, this is the regional map. So I was hoping that I could colonize this little spot here, but I was not able to because the UK jumped into the spot first. Founders keepers. Hopefully, though, um, as we improve our... Oh, hello, that's Queen Victoria. I wonder if the UK has Queen Victoria as a ruler every time, every game. I wonder if something could happen to prevent that from happening. Either way, um, moving forward, I will be trying to somehow shake the United States off of my back. Um, and I will be looking into some independence place. Right now, I think we have too good of relations with the United States. But having said that, I don't think we have the power necessary to actually fight them off. I wonder if it would be a good idea to start researching military or to go into society research. Yes, central archives actually sound like a sound institution. Uh, excuse me, technology to research. It's kind of funny when like most of the technologies in the society tab are like egalitarianism and nationalism, which are 
really not things that you research at all. They're like concepts that are not necessarily, you know, made up in some university. They kind of are naturally spreading. Either way, we're going to go with Central Archives. Um, that's something we're already getting research for. And after that, perhaps we can start looking into postal savings. As I would like to have mutual funds research, which will improve our minting. And minting is really good because minting makes, makes a part of our GDP as income. So right now, as you can see, most of the minting value comes from GDP, right? So that's something we want. So 50%, I think, how does that math work out here? Um, it's 3.8 million becomes how much money? Let's see. So 3.8 million becomes 1,900 in weekly taxes, which is quite cool, right? Uh, additionally, we get 10% more from banking and 10% more from central bank banking. So definitely something to invest into, a good way to bank on the uh, growing GDP. Because when we as a state build factories, we actually don't get any profits. And here now we see that the United States have won the war against Mexico. Luckily, they got to keep Colorado, as they should, obviously. Let's see what's the population in Colorado. Yeah, pretty much Mexican, so what's up? I'm really happy about our colonization efforts. We've got a sizable part of uh, Guinea, which is just great. It would be nice if the United States would actually pass us this territory. But at the same time, if we will try to make a run for it and try to become independent, then not having this territory might be helpful since they won't be able to come over here and they would have to do a naval invasion. I do wonder what would be the likelihood of the UK joining our side on our independence play. Because I'm sincerely not interested in paying 3.5 towards the United States forever. I think we could start investigating the possibility now. I don't believe there's a big chance of them retaliating if they start hurting the relations. They wouldn't let us go, of course, just by asking. I do not expect that. I wish they would actually explain why, but I can assume they just like the money. Right, let's expel the diplomats and begin damaging relations. Now, we stopped building the furniture manufacturing. That's good. So we're making a bit more money. I think we'll have to save up until we pay off the debts. Prominent members of the industrialists, outspoken supporters of interventionism, and close allies of Eugene Gales have been exposed in a corruption scandal, having exchanged political favors for personal gifts. Uh, yet, yeah, such as the nature of politics, or prone to the wolves. Oh, our interventionism law is gonna hurt from this. Let's forward them to the wolves and change the law we're trying to pass because interventionism is not working exactly. The reason why I really would like to have intervention is because it will make building new factories cheaper as, as you can see, capitalists and some aristocrats will be able to contribute to the investment pool. And then funds in the investment pool can be used to build agriculture, plantations, manufacturing industries, etc. Either way, I don't see a chance of this law being enacted now. So I'll try something else. Um, let's see. What other law can we think of changing? I don't know, perhaps ban the slavery? 
let's go with that because it gives it's horrible morally and it gives a lot of power to landowners which we don't like we don't like them because they're slavers in the first place i would say i find it a bit strange that in victoria 3 landowners are a specific group but i'm going to go on the limb and assume that queen elizabeth she is oh she's an industrialist well i didn't expect that um i think in some countries the royalty should be its own interest group because for example in great britain's history the king was mostly against the aristocracy so having them on the same side is kind of strange although in some cases it does work right central archives unlocked we're having more taxation capacity which wasn't really an issue and then home affairs and institution investment that's great we have more um laws available to us and we can use standardized filing system for government administration which i don't think we actually have so yeah but eventually we will have it either way and i do want the mutual funds as soon as possible so i'm just gonna go for postal savings there's a revolution brewing well we might have a civil war of our own over slavery new president in the united states president archer stafford he does sound like a default american president so good job americans you will look at somebody boring right I do know that we have unused construction because it's very expensive so we're not gonna do that for now i just do wonder if okay let's say let's say let's say we're gonna do a diplomatic play declare independence from the us so great looks like france and brazil would go against us so, not a huge chance of that happening. I see. The United States has a defensive pact with Brazil and France. So, tough luck for us, I guess. We're losing power rank as well. I'm not terribly concerned about that. Right. If we start building steel mills, we that is expensive. I am almost thinking about reducing the amount of construction sectors we have. Oh, so because of the ongoing revolution, we cannot downsize our construction sector, which is great. I went against my promise to wait for us to pay back the loan, but I do think that it makes sense to try and manufacture a bit more, since our GDP has went static. To, to keep increasing, so that we get more money from minting. The amount of radicals is stable for the moment. Oh, chemical bleaching unlocked. It improves glassworks, paper mills, and good rubber mastication. Oh! I know. If we could research rubber mastication... Where is it? Here it is. Three years. Oh. You know, Liberia is known for its rich rubber sources so we could start building some rubber plantations i do think that would be our key to riches so let's focus on that now the revolution is moving at a very steady pace into nothing because it's at 56 percent and the progression speed is zero even minus a little bit oh well, i'm not afraid of you landowners can't even run the revolution properly. 
I think once we ban slavery, finally, the landowners will just back down. I don't know if I mentioned this, but historically Liberia did not have legal slavery. So that needs to be mentioned. I don't know what happened in places where, you know, the law could not reach or where something happened unofficially. But now we corrected the historical record when it comes to this game. So, yep, Liberia has no slavery anymore. And let's see the cloud for landowners drop into nothingness. Indeed, it has dropped into 6.6%. I don't think it has been that low in a while. I think as far as our country's future is concerned, we can start slowly forgetting about landowners. Let's think about other laws we want to change. National militia, we would prefer enlistment offices need to be researched for mass conscription, which would give us... Oh, mass conscription is not the best way to run a military. I suppose national militia is indeed the best way. Um, yeah, right now we can have 28 conscripts. Unlikely to win against the US with France and Brazil, but quite a lot. A lowborn man has risen as the popular leader of the intelligentsia, with some not so pleased by such social mobility. Mm hmm. Well, he has earned his job. So we're fine with that. Right. Now we can try and enact interventionism again. It's quite a high chance. Landowners have almost no power in the country. That is looking good. Can't wait for that rubber to come for us. Oh, look at that. Well, our um, standard of living is steadily increasing. As is our GDP. Everything looking optimistic so far. Let's see what happens if we declare independence now. Okay. We do have a chance that Great Britain will be neutral. I do wonder where are disappearing interests. Oh, so I didn't get um, a notification about that, but I assume because we lost Frank, we can't have our interest declared in Niger anymore. So, la di da. Oh well. Oh, was the French colony that big at all times? I think there was something else here, wasn't there? Well, either way. We're saving some money back. The revolution is receding. Radicalism is dropping steadily because people are no longer enslaved. And the standard of living is increasing. A lot of people are actually dying? Well, I guess that's a good thing. Whoa! That does not look good. We're losing population right now. Okay, let's see. Can we manage? more food okay I do think it's because our food is getting more and more expensive but if we build a plantation ah, okay well it will be cheaper either way than to expand a factory I was hoping it would be cheaper to build a farm in the end it might be but like on a weekly basis I wish the United States cared enough about us to actually to actually pay off our debts. We're in big trouble right now. That is very scary, the fact that the United States has France as an ally, which is the most powerful country in the world right now. 
that does not bode well for us. Cross-border investments. Liberian industrialists are interested in making investments in neighboring French industries. Huh. Huh. Better relations with the French. But they're not going to drop their alliance with the United States. Ask them to invest domestically instead. What are the bonuses we get from their loyalty? More investment, we can't enjoy that unfortunately, but production technology cost is minus 20%. That's quite good. Same for society. Um, so that is helping us achieve faster technology when it comes to rubber. Now, what do we have here in our journal? Have to liberalism. Eventually, rail transportations. Uh, we need to have 20% of eligible buildings and have rail transportation active. I don't believe we can do that. I don't think it's going to be a better production method, but let's look at our production methods anyway. Uh, right, mechanized workshops, much more effective. Let's go with that. Water tube boiler, actually finally effective. Is it true for tools? No. Nope. Uh, let's see if there are any better ways. No. Tools currently being manufactured at maximum effectiveness. Right. Water tube boiler for engines? No. Trams for cities? Also no. Oh, look at that. Gas street lights for urban center and market stalls for urban center. Quite impressive. Now let's look at our rural buildings. Iron mines. That is such a shame. Why is it more expensive to use latest technology? Well, picks and shovels it is. Uh, rail transportation, negative. Right, coffee plantations could use it. And our logging camps, let's enable it. Can we change anything for subsistence farms? That's a negative. Alright, conscription centers. You know, let's have as modern military as we can. We might need it eventually. Let's see how our, our uh, railway industry is working. Quite well. Okay, so branching out is complete. Railroad, boom. The railroads shall prosper. The locomotive builders of Liberia should benefit from this. Boom. Yes, that's, that's what I want. Actually, I want our... Oh, our motor industries are not doing well. But still number 17 motor industry in the world. I don't understand. Is, is the demand so low? Okay, hydraulic cranes unlocked. Leads to gantry cranes. Well, that does not have a lot of implications for us. Right, so we have expanded melee farms. Um, we can use harvesting tools as well. Right now the price for grain is quite high. That is very unfortunate. I think it makes uh, standard of living lower for those who earn less. Let's see, soil enriching farming. Oh, now we're a bit closer with our production of oh, rain. In the end we're still missing on 30 though. And as long as we're missing on 30 grain, of course, our population will not be growing as much as we want. Um, I think it would be prudent to improve this. But let's see. Yes, so politically inactive. Okay, so some of the populace is politically inactive, that's fine. Um, our peasants are struggling. Why? Hmm. 
Now I'm just trying to understand what could be the reason. Okay, so they, their base needs are quite expensive. Okay, perhaps we should wait for interventionism first. Questionable practices released patients from the Kinda Asylum have steadily denounced the practices involved in their supposedly medical treatments. Mistreatment of the sick, withholding of personal letters, and disproportionate punishments were among the charges. Their judgment cannot be trusted. We need to entirely revise our asylum's work. Oh, that will be quite expensive, I would say. Um... The trade unions can take over asylum administration. Yeah, let's go with trade unions. I do want them to be more influential either way. I think we can stop pushing down landowners and start bolstering trade unions. I'm not particularly keen on the industrialists being as powerful as they are right now. That's a shame we were making quite a lot of money just before, just a few seconds before. Organized ports unlocked, not particularly interesting. I wish I would have a better idea of our population needs. Right now, okay, so I know that they're struggling. That's perfectly fine. Why? Okay. Uh huh. So these pops have center of living below a line. They will become radical. Fine. They pay an average 20% of their income in taxes, reducing their available money for pop needs. These pops pay an average of plus 10% compared to base price for their pop needs. So their food is expensive, and they also pay quite a lot of taxes. Popular playwright endorses reform. In the midst of the debate surrounding interventionism, one of the country's leading playwrights, strongly associated with the trade unions, has staged a widely acclaimed play whose politically laden theme makes no secret of the author's desire for the law to get passed. Yeah. Interventionism should be on everyone's lips right now. Let's go with that. Okay, our GDP is still steadily increasing. Uh, and I think our population is stabilizing now. But we should be worried about the prices of food for our farmers. So let's try to provide in that sense. I'm also starting to realize that we do have a lot of peasants in these two provinces. So, yeah, perhaps we should build the farms there instead. Right. We have a higher resource discovery chance, and we can use... Oh! Aren't we a happy people now that we can build rubber plantations? And now we can use nitroglycerin or iron mines. Perhaps that will make them profitable again. Let's see. Nope, we can't use that pump, but nitroglycerin, very ineffective. Rail transportation? No. Nothing will make our iron mines profitable. That is unfortunate. But can we start building rubber plantations? No. Oh yes, I believe we need to wait for them to be discovered. I'm sure that will happen soon enough. In the meantime, um, let's go with some society research. What can we do right now? Yeah, postal servings, savings. That sounds good. After that, we can get mutual funds in about six years. Or should we go with production? I'm strongly leaning towards production.
Okay, we're not making any of these textiles. Synthetic plants can be built. Not interesting. Vacuum canning. Not interesting for us. I do believe that we should go with open heart process since we are invested in manufacturing steel. Additionally, the play for power. Abraham Pierce, leader of the trade unions, has made a remarkable play for power in the capital in order to secure a spot for trade unions within the government. But it's not clear if he should be rewarded for their novel tactics. Let's see, they should be rewarded or not. Well, obviously, I'm pro-union, so yeah, why not? Oh, that's a huge boost to their popularity. And petite bourgeoisie is also fine with us. Afro-American migration. Large numbers of Afro-American people have begun migrating to the state of Sierra Leone. Oh no, that means that our people are gonna go there. That is unfortunate. Also, it's, I think uh, the culture system in the game is a bit limited because eventually Afro-Americans should become Americo Liberians, as they were actually called. It is unfortunate that, you know, cultures cannot become new cultures and new identities cannot become new. Because, for example, let's go look at the Russian Empire. Let's see what we have in Lithuania. We have Lithuanians, Ashkenazi Jews, and Russians, mostly. No. Ukrainians, Belarusians, Poles, and North Germans. That is quite accurate. But it's very important to understand that at that time, the Lithuanian identity was very new. It was more of a political identity than a cultural one. Um, there is no tribe, and there was no tribe, all the Lithuanians. It was five tribes with completely different names that became Lithuanian because of the country. In the same way, there are no Liberians per se at this point, but slowly all of these populations should not become Afro-Americans because they're not, um, weirdly enough, they're not Afro-Americans, right? They're their own people and they're creating their own culture. So it's kind of strange that we're sticking to the Afro-American label here. After a few generations, I don't think that label um, should stick. Right, we have finished building. Oh, our profits are great improving. Greatly improving. Let's see. Oh, our consumption taxes, poll taxes, income taxes. They just rose significantly. Could that be because of the population growth? Not quite. Perhaps it's the quality of life improvement. And the way our GDP is continuing to grow, we're doing quite well with our GDP. Um, Interventionism, I hope it's soon going to be passed. Oh, there is a diplomatic play. What is happening here? The US against the Mexican Republic. They want Texas and California. Right. That is unfortunate of... That is unfortunate Mexicans have to face the United States alone. We're with you in our hearts and souls, but not our bullets. Oh, they back down. All right, well, what is happening with Colorado? The United States gave up on Colorado. They don't want Colorado anymore. It can remain Spanish-speaking Colorado. Right, I am really, really happy to announce that we're making quite a lot of money right now. So let's uh, build some more farms. I, I just want to drop the food prices for the people. Discord within the industrialists. An influential faction within the industrialists has grown frustrated with their co-members' neutrality in the topic of interventionism, themselves in favor of the law, 
They have now resolved to form a separate political faction intent on passing it. With their support, we can pass it, or the trade unions should take it over. I think, yeah. Oh, this is working out great for the trade unions. Their clout is growing fast. That is definitely a positive. Long term, we will want to enact laws that the trade unions support. Eventually, we will became, become a democracy either way. It is strange. Looking at this map, you would think that Zvedru is the capital, but it's actually Monrovia. Perhaps in this time it was not the biggest urban center. Right. We, we can almost continuously build something. We almost reached that level. And that's due to increases in consumption taxes. Right. The to I think we can drop the tobacco consumption tax and maybe look at some other consumption taxes. Um, Oh, look at that porcelain. Oh, let's tax that. Why not? Right. Let's... Oh, yes. Our furniture industry is doing great. Let's see if we make enough hardwood. We don't, actually. Right. So after improving our furniture industry, maybe let's build a logging camp as well. Let's see what goods are currently... Trending on the marketplace. Luxury clothing. Oh. Even fabric is in huge demand. Hmm. I think livestock ranches are way better than cotton plantations. Of course, we want the fabric in this case, but the meat will also think it's something that the lower classes want to consume so it will make meat cheaper in Liberia as well so I think that's a bigger positive than just cotton plantations but I'm gonna build a livestock range and actually start a textile mill I think that's the way to go given that clothes are so expensive right now in the American market of which we just happen to be a part of, unfortunately. Let's see what the diplomatic play to become independent. No, we don't even have access to that. No, we don't want to do that right now, but yes, France would still back the United States. The only thing that changed is that, unfortunately, the Indian territories have been annexed into the United States. I wonder if there's ever a chance that the Native Americans or American Indians have a chance to fight against the uh, United States. That would be quite an interesting thing to see AI defending against them. Okay, um, industrialists no longer happy with us. Neither are intelligentsia. I really don't understand why. What made them so unhappy? They oppose no schools, as do I, as a matter of fact. Mr. Romantic Moderate Gilbert Thompson. How old is our president? Maybe it's time for you to go. 72. And his interest group is landowners as well. Well, you've done it. you ruined your own interest group. Congratulations. Okay, we have a new event. The Play for Power. Abraham Pierce, leader of the trade unions, has made a remarkable... Oh, it's a, once again, it's a play for power. Yeah, I get it. Let's help out the trade unions. Ooh, and they're getting a lot of clout. The unfortunate part is that this clout is temporary. We now have interventionism. Ah, finally. This will greatly help us out because now we're gonna get investment it's actually already active interesting uh, let's look at it the investment pool yeah there's almost a million in the investment pool, so we don't need to worry anymore about any construction expenditures 
That makes me really happy. We did it, guys. We did it. Now we can just keep building and building and building. And now our GDP is going to continue to explode. General staff unlocked. Okay, we don't particularly care about that. I don't actually think that we will have any serious wars in the course of this game. So I'm not terribly worried about that. Right, now that we have interventionism, let's think about schools. I do want there to be public schools. And most agree, except for evangelical church, who want to have religious schools, I assume. Nobody wants to have no schools, right? Everybody's against no schools. Well, that's that makes me happy. Look, unity, finally. And look at that. Trade unions and industrialists agree schools are cool. And I'm happy with that. I wonder if we could actually start to do a diplomatic play to take Sierra Leone. I wonder if that would be possible. Most likely not. But if the United States would help me take Sierra Leone, that would be really cool. Since the United States is allied with France, I don't see any real way for us to declare independence and fight a war against the US. Realistically speaking, France is too strong. So I think instead what we should do is ruin our relationship with Great Britain and start thinking about incorporating Sierra Leone into Liberia. As if we look at national GDP, oh, that's our GDP, sorry, um, global GDP, right? Sierra Leone is probably the most interesting part to annex for us. This part here is hmm, not really that much. Right, so now that we have investment in into our industries from the industrialists, we can actually just really pump up the gas on our construction sector. I think we might as well just build one more construction center here. And increase the furniture manufacturers. Let's see if we're producing enough food. Indeed we are. The, cons the green consumption. Okay, so the balance is not in our favor exactly. We're gonna get there. Perhaps if I would stop producing fruit here, then we would produce more green. Yeah, now we have positive balance. Of course, the melee farm is not as productive as we want it to be. It's losing cash reserves, slowly. But that's a difficulty, although it's a huge positive for us, since the standard of living is increasing due to food being cheaply available. So, how about we subsidize? That I like. Okay, we now have open heart pro process unlocked. And we have a mining accident as well. A miner Liberia has collapsed, trapping miners within the dark shafts below. The scale of the accident has made the tragedy a story across Liberia and the nation. That's Anno's strangest abuse of common men. That cannot continue, so trade unions get more power, which we approve of. Right, and what else shall we now continue researching? Postal savings, of course. And we can improve the method. Oh, look at that. Finally, water to boiler is actually an effective way. An effective production method. But open hearth process is not yet. Yeah, we're slowly having some bureaucratic shortfall. So let's build a government administration in the future to prevent that from really hurting us at the moment. Oh, yeah. 
That's a huge tax waste. How about we just lower our colonial growth, colonial affairs institution? We don't really need it, we don't use it anymore. Oh, look at that. Now that is interesting. So Messina has opium. And if I play my cards right, I can have opium too by having Messina for me. Right. Dynamite unlocked. More chances of unlocking resources. It's unfortunate we can't build rubber plantations yet. But perhaps dynamite can make our... Nope. 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 Oh, finally we can use the condensing engine pump. So let's do that. Real transportation still not profitable. Yeah, but perhaps we should build an additional railway. Oh, we're over our limit for infrastructure. Right, so let's finish the furniture factory and then focus on the railway. Our money situation is getting much better. So at the beginning of the episode, you might remember we were going into the miners. Unless we were building something. Now we're building buildings left and right. And we're getting a plus. And that's mostly because we enacted interventionism. Now, additionally to that, we have the education institution. And it's beautiful. So it increases education access by 10% passively and assimilation by 12%. We don't care specifically about assimilation since we're not really discriminatory but education access is always good so in order to capitalize on that let's prioritize the government administration after this so that we can start improving our education institution yeah we cannot afford the bureaucratic costs for that right now Okay, so since we passed this law, um, I think we can focus on... Rights of women, actually. Wait, we have no rights of women. Okay, cool. Let's go into property of women. Was I the only one who thought that this means that women are property? But actually, no. This means women can actually inherit property. Now... Sound, doesn't sound like a, that big of a deal, but in fact, in European history, at least, it was a huge deal. That's where it all started. When women could start finally inheriting wealth from, them, from their dead relatives, they would start slowly amassing power. They didn't have the rights to fully engage with that power, but they were at least holders of power. They didn't have the full agency, but suddenly women were able to maneuver a little bit more independently in the society. Either way, our trade unions and intelligentsia are very much pro this law. It will radicalize landowners and, of course, the evangelical church, which is always the number two villain in the country. Anyway, let's go with this law. Oh yeah, actually I don't need to make our relations worse with the UK. I just need to do that with Sierra Leone, which is a country of its own, obviously. And then hopefully the United States will just let me take them over. Right, so... Right now, two of our goals are to improve our infrastructure and the bureaucratic capacity. And I think actually, 
as we're getting the rubber rush, they decide to end the game. So come back when the next episode comes out and we'll continue to make Liberia into a, first of all, free, independent, powerful country. As you can see, our GDP is now number 31 worldwide, number 11 by GDP per capita. We're more and more educated, but still kind of lagging behind the world. Standards of living are improving. 13.9. What do you have, America? 13.6. Ha! Take that. We will overtake you soon. We have 1.5 million people. And for the first time ever, more loyalists than detractors. And we are having a host of different cultures immigrate to our country. Slowly but surely, Liberia is growing, so please continue follow the development of our beautiful Liberian project next time. Bye-bye.